Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now today I'm talking driver loft. Now, what I wanna do in this test is show people the differences between loft of drivers because I see a lot of people come into my old studio with really low lofted clubs with quite slow swing speeds. Now the problem with that is people see people on YouTube or Tor Pros or anything like that with low lofted drivers hitting bombs and they think if I have less loft, I'm gonna hit the ball further. It's not actually the truth. There is an optimization when it comes to driver, when it comes to launch angle and ball speed as that determines and spin and that determines the distance. They're the three things that determine where the, the, how far the ball goes. Now, if you've got too little loft, your launch angle is going to be too low, you're not going to have enough spin, it's just going to drop out the air. If it's too high, your launch angle is going to be too high, you're going to get too much spin, it's just going to balloon in the air. So there's that optimal little slot when it comes to driver. So I'm going to test three different lofts at my swing speed. Now, instead of using, I've only got like two heads with the Callaways and the tight list, instead of manipulating loft by using the shaft hosel, the, the OptiFit hosels, because that manipulates face as well, handily, Orca in their supply kit offer three driver heads at three different lofts and there's no manipulation when it comes to the hosel or the face angle or anything like that. So this will be an easier and fairer test. So I've got the Orf Orca reflex driver in a nine, an 11 and a 13 degree head. I'm gonna use the same shaft with each one and I'm gonna hit, I don't know, six shots with each just to see if I can show the averages and show you how loft can either help you or be hindering you when it comes to driver. All right, so I'm going to start with a nine degree head. I've got the 10 side blue 70 gram X diff shaft in. I'm just going to hit a series of shots with each one and uh, show you the differences in launches, spin rates, etc. Uh, that was a good one to finish. A um, little bit all over the place, but we're going to switch to the 11 degree head. All right, so the 11 degree head's in. Let's uh, hit a series of shots with these. And then look at, put the 13 degree head in. Right, that's a series of shots with the 11 degree, switch over to the 13. Right then, 13 degree head now. This literally looks like a massive three wood now for me. Expect this to go really high and maybe really short.
Okay, that's uh, a series of shots with each one. Let's delve into the numbers and see the difference. Right, so let's delve into the numbers then. So 9, 11, 13, ball speeds wise, quite close between the 9 and the 11, but um, then a two mile an hour drop in the 13, which is what I'd expect. The less loft, the less ball speed you're gonna get. Launch angle is really interesting. I'm launching at 15.9 with the 9, but 12.4 with the 11. And that has to be a subconscious. I didn't try and do anything different. But for me, the launch off the 11 is better than the launch off the nine. Uh, and then 13 is 16.1, so it does go up. But well, you can see here where the loft is making um, a little bit more of a difference is the spin. So two, four, two, six, two, seven. So there is the spin as an average is going up the more loft you'd get. Arguably, I'd kind of want a 10. I think if I could sit in here, um, that would be kind of ideal when it comes to spin. Around two and a half is where you want it. If you want to hit bombs and you need to get into the low 2000s. But for that sort of like middle ground where you want distance and spin, around two and a half is fine. So then we go to the carry yardages. So 13,259, 11,265, 9,275. So you can see there how the loft is changing the distance, which is something is exactly what we would expect it to do. What's interesting is the 11 is the lower launch and then the 13 is only just peaking above the nine the nine's getting out there but that's because i've launched it high subconsciously but it just goes to show how loft plays a difference when it comes to yardage and there's that there's that peak optimal and arguably in that setup if i could spin the 11 less that would probably be the best setup for me because of the lower launch but this is a small data set you know i'd if I was fitting myself into it, I'd hit at least 10 shots with each, maybe 20 shots just to confirm it. Um, but as sort of a test comparison, you can see there the difference that just loft on the driver makes. There's no shaft changes, there's no face angle changes, there's absolutely nothing else. It's purely loft that has changed those numbers. So I hope you've enjoyed that little comparison. I was a little bit surprised, to be honest. I expected the nine to be here, then the 11 and the 13, but the way I swing it, I actually launch it lower with the 11 than I do with the 9. Maybe I didn't dot the faces up, so maybe I'm hitting up more on the 9. <sighs> Who knows? Like, but for me, in that situation, the 11 was launching perfectly. It was just spinning too much. But I hope that comparison has just shown you the difference between driver lofts and how if you're one of these people with a slower swing speed, then having that extra loft, having that extra spin will help get the ball out carrying further then lower loft. If you're, if you're after roll, then obviously lower loft, less spin, get it on the ground and let it roll is, is the better option. But if you're after out and out carry distance, then you need to find your optimal launch angle, ball speed and spin in order to maximize your carry distance. And for slower swing speeds, that's loft and spin. They are the, the key contributors to you getting the ball out there. Little loft, little spin just dips out the air and goes absolutely nowhere. And in the winter, you might as well hit a seven iron. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that comparison. If you are new to the channel, please, as always, remember to subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. But more importantly, please, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a like down below. Um, that would be much appreciated. And then that way I get to know if you're liking the content or whether you're not liking the content because I can judge it on how many likes the videos get. So please give this video a like. It'd be much appreciated. But until next time, um, I'll let you get on with your date and I'll see you soon.